Hey everyone, I'm Dinesh. Today I'm going to teach you how to create volume discount in Max Vendor app to maximize your sales and boost your average order value. Let's create a bundle. There are several types of bundle here. For now, I'll choose volume discount. And here bundle name, you can write it anything. This will not display to the customer end. And in title, for example, I'll just write buy more and save more. Let me correct it. Yeah, save more. So in button text, you can write it anything. For now, I'll leave it as it is. And if you want to display the bundle on all products, you can choose this option. Either if you want to display on specific product, choose this one. For example, I add this one, add it. You can also see the live preview here. Now there are three types of discount types. The first one is percentage discount. Second one, fixed amount. The third one is flat price. So for now, I'll go with percentage and delete this one. So if customer purchase two quantity, then he will get 15% discount. Same goes to here. If customer purchase three quantity, then he will get 20% discount. And you can also display the most popular badge here. And if you want to select it, the bundle by default, you can simply check this checkbox. And for more customization, you can also add a custom image URL. But before doing that, you have to en enable it from customization page. And if you want to offer a gifted product, you can also add it from here. So coming to the advanced settings, if you want if you don't want to display the bundle variants, you can simply uncheck this checkbox. Same goes to show compare price, display per item price. And if you want to display the bundle on home page, you can simply check this checkbox and save it. Yeah, the bundle is created successfully. You got the message. And just I created the volume discount. Let's click on view button. Yes, here it is. The volume bundle is displayed. So you can change the variant as per your need. This is the out of stock message. You can also customize it from our app settings page. Let's navigate to the customization page and let's change the color. There are predefined layouts. You can choose it. You can choose anything. I'll go with this one. There are bundle styles. You can display on list view, grid view and table view as per your requirement. For more customizations, you can enable it like I'll choose like this one. And there are other customizations like if you don't want to display the radio button, you can uncheck this. Display the product image, you can do this and the variant numbers. And there are a bunch of more customization here. And you can change the most popular batch name here as well. Let's suppose I want to display this one and I want to hide the usage batch. And there is a variant button customization. And if you don't want to display the add to cart button, you can simply turn off this toggle, this button. And if you want to add icon, you can choose it from here. And there are a bunch more like customization, font family, font size, a lot more features. So for now, I'll save it and see. Let's refresh the page. Yeah, the customization is applied properly here. Let's suppose add this one and see the discount is applied like perfectly. The discount is applied perfectly. And you can also customize the widget. Like if you want to display the above the add to cart button or wherever, you can simply add a app block from Shopify theme customization. Let me like go through it. Now you have to choose the product and choose the default product. 
here you can add a app block let's suppose i want to display above the product form add a app block choose apps and as i created the volume discount i'll choose this one and let's suppose i just hide this one let's save it and again refresh the page you see the volume discount is above the add to cart button or you can say the product form so you can add it like if the bundle is not displayed on product page or on your store let's navigate to the settings page here is the settings page like you can change the bundle label here as well like if you want like to display on same page go to the cart page check out page it's up to you and here you can change the out of stock error message there is hide element like if you hide the add to cart button the variant and the theme quantity selector there are price settings here as well like if you want to remove the decimal and whatever else now let's suppose what if the bundle is not displayed on product page you can also like add the app block like we have a guide here you can simply go through it and what if your theme not supports the like the app block feature so simply you can click on manual installation and like what bundle you have created simply just copy this volume discount code snippet and go to the shopify theme customization and navigate to the main product liquid file and just paste the code snippet wherever you want to display simple nothing else and if you have any kind of query you can comment this video below or you can simply reach out to our support team that's all for now thank you have a great day